I gave this task to a student of mine and he wrote this report that would probably get a score of 6.5. Here is the frustrating bit. His vocabulary and grammar are good enough for that magic band 7. But when it comes to his writing skills, his task achievement and the so-called coherence and cohesion or how well he structures and links his ideas, he wouldn't get above a band 6, which will result in a task score of 6.5. But I can show you how you can transform this answer into not just a band 7, but into a band 8 answer in a number of simple and small steps. And you can do it too. It's Asia. Let's get started. First, the task. The chart below shows the total number of international migrants in five countries between 2000 and 2020. The table shows the percentage of migrants in each country's population in 2020. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. And we have a chart and a table. A chart is a bar chart or a bar graph, and it shows the total number of international migrants per country in millions. And we have five countries. Germany, India, Russia, the UK, and the USA. And for each country, we see the number of migrants in 2000 and 2020. And the table shows the migrant share in national populations in 2020. So it shows the proportion of migrants in the population of each country. Now, the answer. Let's take a good look at our report again. It has three paragraphs. First, the student introduces the task in the first two sentences, and in the same paragraph, he gives an overview, then a paragraph about the bar chart, and a paragraph about the table. The structure is logical and it all makes sense. Now, let's have a look at each part and see how we could achieve a band 8 score by making as few changes as possible. Let's read his introduction. The bar graph illustrates the number of migrants in Germany, India, Russia, the UK and the USA over a 20-year period. Also, the table provides information on the proportion of migrants in each of these countries' populations in 2020. Paragraph 1 starts by briefly describing the data presented in the bar chart and the table. These sentences paraphrase the task. Oh good, apart from the linker also, we don't need it here. Either drop it, or we could have one long sentence with while. The bar graph illustrates <laughs> while the table provides information on. That's all we need to change here. Then the student goes on to give what we call an overview of the data. In other words, what is it really all about? So we have what it is and then what it means. From the data, it is shown that in Germany, the UK and the USA, the number of migrants increased and the proportion of migrants was higher. Otherwise, India and Russia were countries where the number of migrants declined and the proportion was lower. The key point here is that the same three countries where migrant levels have risen also have high percentages of migrants in terms of population. And the reverse has occurred in the other two countries. Reading through this paragraph, I get the point. It's generally clear, but it could be made a lot clearer. And that's why it's a band 6 and not a band 8. It's important in the overview to really make your point. The idea is to clearly state what the main points are. See how it looks. 
One noticeable feature in the data is that in Germany, the UK and the USA, the number of migrants increased over the period, and the proportion of immigrants was higher. The phrase one noticeable feature underlines that this is our interpretation of what we see. And the other two countries? Here the writer has made the mistake of using otherwise incorrectly. That's what a band six describes as faulty cohesion. It's obvious what he wants to say, but it's the wrong word. So we need to show a contrast. How about in contrast or on the other hand? In contrast, India and Russia were countries where the number of migrants declined and the proportion was lower. For IELTS writing, it's really important to learn enough formal linking words for each situation to avoid losing marks for faulty cohesion. In my courses, I even give a list of linkers for each situation with examples for students to learn. You can also find them yourself, but learn them before your test. Now let's read the paragraph about the bar chart. From the bar chart, the USA was the country with the highest rise in international migrants, from 37 million in 2000 to 50 million in 2020. In the first sentence, I changed just a couple of words. Not just from the bar chart, but from the bar chart it is clear that… and the rise. It's better to say the greatest rise than the highest rise, it's a collocation. Now let's read the rest. The UK and Germany also had an increase in immigrants. The UK rose by 5 million and Germany by 3 million. Different from the three countries, India and Russia had a decrease in the number of international migrants from 2000 to 2020. Both India and Russia decreased by around 1 million. The immigrants in India fell from 5 million to 4 million and the immigrants in Russia fell to 11 million. Paragraph 2 goes into detail. To be honest, the paragraph does highlight key features, band 6 task achievement, but does that in a kind of repetitive way. It doesn't attract the reader's attention. It describes the data in the bar chart and does that pretty well but without much variation. All we have is numbers in millions. That's what a band 6 in task achievement refers to when it says presents and adequately highlights key features. Why not make the point, for example, that in the UK, migrant numbers more than doubled rather than the fact that the numbers rose by 5 million? There are some problems with referencing as well. Referencing is when you use pronouns, they, it, or other ways to show what you mean without repeating the same nouns. Notice how many times the countries are named. The UK and Germany are simply repeated twice. A band 6 refers to that as may not always use referencing clearly or appropriately. I think here the referencing may be too obviously clear. Why not use the former and the latter to refer back? Let's see how it might look. The UK and Germany also had an increase in immigrants. Numbers in the former more than doubled, rising to around 10 million, while in the latter they grew by around 3 million to reach a total of 12 million. Another issue is the so-called cohesive devices or linking words and phrases. They're not as effective as they could be. The band 6 descriptor reads, uses cohesive devices effectively, but cohesion within or between sentences may be faulty or mechanical. That's exactly what we have with different from the three countries. It could be better to write something like, on the other hand, in contrast, however, the details on India and Russia are quite repetitive too. I've counted three Indias and three Russias in just two sentences. 
Here is a much shorter version. However, in both India and Russia, numbers decreased by around 1 million, falling in India to 4 million, and in Russia to 11 million. The examiner is always looking out for ways you can join your ideas together. And have you noticed that some changes to the ways we join things together have an effect on the grammar and vocabulary as well? The basic paragraph structure stays the same, but the points made are clearer. Let's have a look at the third paragraph about the table. According to the table, Germany, the UK and the USA were the three countries that had a high percentage of migrants, with 14.7%, 14% and 13.5% respectively. But Russia and India had the lowest proportion of immigrants at around 8.5% in Russia and 0.4% in India. More details, this time about migrant percentages. Just two sentences, it's all right, it covers the main points. But does it present highlights and illustrate key features clearly and appropriately or manage all aspects of cohesion well? If it does, it's a band eight. But no, it doesn't do either of those things. So how can we highlight the key features or the key pieces of information? I think the fact that the three countries all had remarkably similar total percentages of migrants is interesting. So let's try it this way. The most interesting feature that emerges from the table is that in the countries where total migrant numbers rose, the percentage of foreign nationals in the total population is almost identical. It varies from 13.5% in the USA to 14% in the UK, rising to 14.7% in Germany, a range of just 1.2%. The beginning of the next sentence with a tired-looking but is very basic. We can replace it with however or on the other hand. On the other hand, Russia and India had a lower proportion of immigrants at around 8.1% in Russia and only 0.4% in India. Of course, we could add more, maybe more sophisticated vocabulary, foreign-born nationals to replace migrants, or more complex grammatical structures. India and Russia, on the other hand, were the countries where not only the number of migrants declined, but their proportion of the total population was also lower. Here, I hit the linker, on the other hand, inside the sentence for a smoother transition, and used the sentence structure not only, but also. We could increase the level of complexity and sophistication throughout, but I didn't want to make a lot of changes. I wanted to show you that with just a few little tweaks, you can improve your band score. We've changed only the key elements to help push this report from a band 6 towards a band 8. Something we haven't touched on today is how to analyze the data and select what we call the key features, what to write about in each paragraph of your report, and how to address different types of tasks. You can learn all this step by step in my online courses, which can help you prepare in less time and achieve a higher score. I'll link them in the description. And if you'd like a taster, watch this in-depth lesson on how to write an introduction to your task one. It's a free preview from my paid course. And don't forget to download the slides for that video too. Thank you so much for watching me today. Good luck with your preparation and your exam. Bye!